Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here in Jersey City, New Jersey and the Liberty City State Park with its iconic view of Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty and of course a panoramic view of the Manhattan skyline. You know, this city has often been referred to as our nation's golden door, but today more and more tall buildings are becoming golden doors to sustainable living, as you're about to see. Because of its proximity to New York City, Jersey City has seen explosive growth. Today, 265,000 residents occupy about 15 square miles. With so many people living so close together, quality of life has increasingly become a priority alongside sustainability. Buildings have a profound impact on our health and well-being because we spend more than 90% of our time indoors. We've created something called the Well Building Standard, which is a roadmap for organizations and buildings of evidence-backed strategies to enhance the health of people inside of the building. So that ranges from improvements in air quality and water quality to material health and sound, community connectivity, nourishment, and mental health and well-being. This Jersey City community is a great example of how the Real Estate Investment Trust, Veris Residential, balances all these priorities when creating their Class A multifamily properties throughout the Northeast. Its House 25 is a 56-story tower, incorporating the latest sustainability and lifestyle features. Veris hopes to change the future of multifamily living, making it much more sustainable. We build communities with purpose, where our residents can genuinely connect with and engage with communities that are centered around shared values. So our residents, three quarters of them are aged between 25 and 39. The average age is around 35, so they're millennials in their prime earning years and have a lot, lot of options over where they live. We're finding that they're spending more time working from home. And that combination to be able to live work, uh, play, all within uh, the, the confines of one building uh, is highly valued in today's market. I think in a world where a more and more people are excited and conscious about environmental and sustainable living and health and well-being and all those things, it's actually pretty hard if you're renting to find a space that helps you live that way. So what we're trying to do at Veris is to give our residents the tools to be able to live a more sustainable life. Throughout the design and construction process of House 25, Veris Residential focused on sustainable technology, non-carbon emitting transportation options, resident education, and as you can see, plenty of upscale living, including 31,000 square feet of outdoor amenity space with fire pits, grilling stations, billiards, cabanas, and gardens resort-style pool and spa, fitness center and spin studios, 56-floor piano lounge, sky terrace dining and chef's kitchen, a golf simulator, bowling alley and game room, pet spa and dog run, even an urban beekeeping farm where residents can learn from the experts about bee farming and get honey from their own hives. Bees are kind of like a gateway to like the entire environment. Like bees are so captivating, they're so awesome. They're the second most studied animal other than humans. I would say that the best thing uh, to come out of this in terms of sustainability and what to learn is a greater idea of how we can imagine environmental systems working in an urban environment. It touches on everything. So it's just an easy way to get people hooked to like caring about the entire planet. Or feel like a salad fresh from the garden one of the floors offers a hydroponic farm that provides a weekly resident harvest. We grow fresh food, we harvest it, we package it, we put it in a refrigerator for all of the residents to enjoy. They learn about their food system, they learn about 
the plants, how they grow, different distances our food tends to travel before it reaches our plate, and how they can have access to fresh, free food right where they live. We want to look for a place that's going to not only do what we already know is sustainable, but also introduce us to new ways to be sustainable. And that's something that's happened here. I didn't know about hydroponics until I moved here and I love the hydroponics farm. We go there every Wednesday, get all of our lettuce, herbs, and base our menus around that for the week. You know, sometimes we have to remind ourselves that the Earth's environment today is not limited to forests, mountains, and oceans. It's about this too, what we humans have built. Today, investors and developers are at the forefront of helping cities like this reduce carbon emissions so that residents of tall buildings like this will live healthier, more productive lives. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.